title is Right to Life. A woman is not a pear tree thrusting her fruit in mindless fecundity into the world. Even pear trees bear heavily one year and rest and grow the next. An orchard gone wild drops few warm rotting fruit in the grass, but the trees stretch high and wiry, gifting the birds forty feet up among inch-long thorns, broken atavistically from the smooth wood. A woman is not a basket you place your buns in to keep them warm, not a brood hen you can slip duck eggs under, not a purse holding the coins of your descendants till you spend them in wars, not a bank where your genes gather interest and interesting mutations in the tainted rain. You plant corn and you harvest it to eat, or sell. You put the lamb in the pasture to fatten and haul it in to butcher for chops. You slice the mountain in two for a road and gouge the high plains for coal, and the waters run muddy for miles and years. Fish die, but you do not call them yours unless you wish to eat them. Now you legislate mineral rights in a woman. You lay claim to her pastures for grazing, fields for growing babies like iceberg lettuce. You value children so dearly that none ever go hungry, none weep with no one to tend them when mothers work, none lack fresh fruit, none chew lead or cough to death and your foster homes are empty. Every noon the best restaurants serve poor children steak. At this moment, at nine o'clock, a Bartera is performing a tabletop abortion on an unwed mother in Texas who can't get Medicaid any longer. In five days she will die of tetanus, and her little daughter will cry and be taken away. Next door, a husband and wife are sticking pins in the sun they did not want. They will explain for hours how wicked he is. How he wants discipline. We are all born of woman in the rose of the womb we suckled our mother's blood, and every baby born has a right to love like a seedling to sun. Every baby born unloved, unwanted is a bill that will come due in twenty years with interest. A pain that will beget pain, an anger that must find a target. A decade downstream, a child screams, a woman falls, a synagogue is torched, a firing squad is summoned, a button is pushed, and the world burns. I will choose what enters me, what becomes flesh of my flesh. Without choice, no politics, no ethics lives. I am not your cornfield. Not your uranium mine, not your calf for fattening, not your cow for milking. You may not use me as your factory. Priests and legislators do not hold shares in my womb or my mind. This is my body. If I give it to you, I want it back. My life is a non-negotiable demand.